My name is Rhapsody and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. We are going with the pilot, the third episode. Let's get in here. Uh, we've only got two hegemony credits. Uh, you know what? I'll actually hold on to them and try and afford something more expensive as we go on into the future. Okay, let's check out your items. You have this gun, the underhanded and efficient rogue special. The rogue special given to the pilot by his partner, he's never been let down by it. This hip shooter has been known to fire half-cocked and often gets itself into more trouble than it can handle. Who needs keys? These are trusty lockpicks. Chance to pick locks can only be used once per lock. These lockpicks have never let the pilot down except for the many times they did. So apparently this is a 50-50. It doesn't feel like it. And also, if it doesn't work, it breaks the lock. You can't use a key on that lock. So this is only desperate if I can't do something, but I'm desperately trying and there's no way to get a key, I may as well roll this. Disarming personality for you reduces price at shops. The pilot is able to talk his way into almost anything, usually gunfights. And hidden compartment, extra space passive, increases the ax uh, sorry the maximum item capacity and maximum ammo counts. Ever since the hegemony caught him with a few questionably legal goods, the pilot has turned to more clandestine storage methods. The Rogue Special is not actually a super bad starting gun as far as I'm concerned. Although, we do have a lot of books in our way, so it's it looks like it's a way worse than it is. Because those books actually took a brunt of the damage I was dishing out there. So it's relatively accurate, has a pretty high clip size. Does reasonable damage. Anything that kills one of those enemies, the basic kind of bullet enemy, in three shots, as far as I'm concerned, is reasonable. Killing them in four is kind of super annoying. Two is reasonably good. You know, you end up with your own metrics, basically, for what accounts as good damage because this game doesn't really tell you what is and what is not good damage got no numbers on that okay beautiful just reload before these ones come in uh i'll actually just try and shoot these because they were far enough away from one another that I thought if I tried to roll through one of them, I would have just run into a different one. Uh, what is this? Wax wings! Too close to the gun! Oh my god, that's actually really amazing. Too close to the sun, obviously a reference to the Greek mythological tale of Icarus. Uh, grants flight while retaining maneuverability, a pair of finely crafted wax wings, and you're just always flying. Now, in future floors, this is going to mean a lot more. At the moment, it's just like, oh, cool, you can fly, I guess, whatever. In the future, this is going to be pretty important. Oh my god, I hate all these fucking books. Ugh. They're just in my way. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, so this room cleared itself. It's nice to see. I didn't even really have to interact with it. So this early in the game, they're not actually... The bullets, the enemies, that is. Uh, they're not actively flipping tables to try and protect themselves and stuff like that. But in the future, they will be trying to do so. This is a really big... Oh, there we go. These guys did. Whew. That was even slightly faster than we would have taken a hit there. Okay. And this should be the second last enemy in the room. Nope, third last. God damn it. I screwed it already. Rooted already on the enemy count. Beautiful. Let's see all that moolah running up to me. Lovely. 
Um, hmm, where am I thinking? What am I thinking? <laughs> we need a good chest. That or just a reasonable gun in the shop, which I'll then buy using all of the money I find on this floor. Yeah, I'd go for that as well. Okay, what have we up here? Nothing I can access yet. It's got to be around and then down so I can get back to the shop, right? Ha <laughs> ha! That was a four leaf clover that thing just shot out. You nothing else in the room, excellent. I wish you could tell how many waves we're gonna be spawning. So that you could kind of prepare. Like if I go all out on these and then I start reloading. How am I to know that I'm not gonna be reloading when the wave comes up? Mm. Ooh, what are you? Heavy boots. Never had them before. Low center of mass. Allows a Gungeoneer to keep their footing even when force is applied to them. So, knockback won't affect us. That's how I'm reading that. We'll also actually take the key. Let's go get the blue chest. Still looking for an item. An item, sorry, a gun. Some of the guns in this, by the way, are absolutely insane and lovely, and I want to be able to show some. Oh, mahogany! I like this weapon. 100% organic. Let's read the item description. The leafy blaster is made of mahogany, a strange wood that will only take root near the gungeon. I think it's a really good weapon as far as I'm concerned, so... We'll be able to show it off in just a few rooms. Here we go. We're getting closer. Oh, come on. And... Oh, what? What? I'd need two full keys to get in there. That's shitty. The key for the outside door and... Oh, actually. Here's what we do. It's a low chance of working, but... It's the trusty lockpick. I don't know how I didn't even try. Let's see. Oh, wow. We actually managed to open it. Now, we can't open that one yet. It's not a mimic. So, after we fight the boss, our goal is to come back here with a full charge on our trusty lockpick and try and use it. Oh, it's these guys! Yeah, the Trigger Twins! Double tap! Mahogany, it fires out leaves and acorns. Really cool. Slightly inaccurate. Very reasonable damage. Trying to spread out my damage because in a similar fashion to Ornstein and Smo, whenever you kill one of these, the other one is going to enrage and become stupidly powerful. Okay. Yeah, that one was going to hit me. Yep, one down. Unfortunately, I do not actually have another blank. So I'm just relying on hitting almost every... Never mind, we got it. <laughs> Lawless victory. And... Oh, hey, we actually even got a key. I'll use it. Master round. Laser Lotus level 5! Oh my god, I've tried out that weapon before and it's amazing! Okay. Yeah, rather than possibly lose a blue chest, I'll just use this. Oh! That's a really good item! Heart of Ice, that's cold! Fires ice projectiles on taking damage. 
And it gave me an HP up. Because I know this gave me an HP up and this also gave me an HP up because I'm at five now and I was at three. Holy shit. This is a lot of HP. Also, Laser Lotus fires like that. It's really good. It's penetrative. Does a lot of damage. Oh, it's nice. It's very nice. Feels good. Man, this is a very, very promising run on the first floor. Now we just need to translate this into success for the rest of the game. That's unlikely to occur, by the way. I imagine we'll be solidly within the episode 15, 16 kind of area before I get my first dungeon success. Okay, I actually shouldn't be using that weapon in here. The Laser Lotus is really valuable because it does so much damage. I want to save it from fossils. Have I got any other weapons? Oh, right, the Mahogany! It has so much ammo and it's so effective. Yeah, I'm using the Mahogany. Oh god, I hate this guy. Little wizard fellow. He's gonna keep enemies in the room alive. But, yep. See, this enemy has a buff on him. The little green buff above his head. That is to say that the wizard in the room was keeping him alive unnaturally. Beautiful. Knock them both into the abyss. Never to be seen again. The leaves from the mahogany also seem to be doing damage, which is really interesting. What's the next one? Oh god. I hate these guys. Get away from me! Oh, right! I can't be knocked back because i got heavy boots and heavy center of mass! Oh, it's beautiful! Oh, I love it so much. Uh, I actually need a key to open that to go to the shop. I'm not going to, what, like, use lockpicks, obviously, on that one. Whoa! I don't know how I got hit there. I'm not going to use lockpicks trying to open the shop because if I fail, I'm not going to the shop this floor. And that is unacceptable. So I'm going to just try and find a key. If I can't find one at all, then... So now we're going to be fighting the Laser Lotus. Sorry, Laser Lotus. We're going to be fighting Gorgon using the Laser Lotus. We should not be able to be poisoned because we're not actually on the floor. Yep, we can't be poisoned. Oh, God. That was really bad. Let's just stay out of her way. Oh, damn it. Uh, it took damage. That was really, really bad. Didn't need to take any of that. Dodged in the wrong direction there. Oh, gosh. There's a real display of my skill here. Or lack thereof. Uh, let's try and fire some mahogany shots into it. Oh, damn it! I didn't even think that one got me! I'll be able to kill you easily, but just the fact that I can't do it flawlessly yet is the one that is making me sad. There we go. Bye-bye. Who is that the Particulator again? Crestfaller, Cold Reality. Interesting. Um, Laser Lotus needs more ammo because I tried to use all of it in that fight there. Down up here. Oh, damn. It two-shots those enemies, which is really cool. 
but also it seems to make enemies slower when they get hit. Also, this Heart of Ice is really powerful, but also I'm taking way too much damage. And also, just because apparently I say also every few seconds. Up and over here. See, this one just feels powerful. Oh, damn! It penetrates armor. That's really cool. I did not know that. It's a huge part of its appeal that I was unaware of. If I can find things that'll heal me, I'm going to be in a way better position. Oh, really? For real, I froze the enemy. That's cool. I've got kind of like an ice base run going on at the moment. Although the fact it's closing up every single time it gets frozen is making it really difficult to kill. Boom. What? That didn't kill you? Ugh. I am really saddened by that. Is this an open chest? It is. Beautiful. And that's a t-shirt cannon, I believe. Yeah, machine gun wash only. Yeah, alright, let's fire some t-shirts for a while, see how this works out. Oh, you know what? This is gonna have a lot of knockback, but like, no damage. That has to be what it is, right? Let's go into the items and quickly check. Uh... Fires t-shirts with short-lived startup Enterprise founded by a misguided gun dead. After shooting their fourth consecutive customer, they turned their sights away from business. And also the cold reality of the Crestfaller, freezes enemies, was brought to the gungeon by a disgraced warrior who discarded it when he gave up. It fires extremely low energy. Really? But they deliver are extremely low energy, delivering a cold and highly depressing death. Laser Lotus level five. This is a community reference uh, to Pierce. Pierce weapon, right? The character's name is Pierce, who becomes a laser lotus level 5 of this made-up religion that he's in. Uh, gifted to anyone who reaches level 5 in the Order of the True Gun. I can't recall the actual name of, basically, the cult that he's in. But it might have been the Order of the True Sun, just because it would make sense with the pun they were going for there. Okay, I really need to find some fucking keys. Uh, you know what? We are going to try and open one thing. We're not going to try and open the shop. But we are going to try and open this chest over here. Yep. That's never getting opened now. So we're going to destroy it. Oh, hey, it even still dropped. Awesome. Wind up gun. Charge it. So this does more damage the more ammo is left in the clip. So you can see... Big bullet, right? But as the clip gets more empty, or progressively more empty, the clip will deal less damage and it will look smaller. There we go. Finally gotcha. And then we'll just finish all of these off with a rogue special. Give him my rogue special, if you know what I mean. The gun. The bullets from the gun. I want one of the guns that those long-range snipers have. Be all about that life. I know I had the M1 Garand a few episodes ago. Maybe two episodes ago at this point? I want that back. That's that's basically what I'm saying. Oh, full heart. Thank you very much. That's actually really important. And no other keys. No. Alright, I'm gonna try my lost lusty trusty lockpick up here. Also try and reload everything that is not fully loaded. Oh, 
Oh. Yep, there we go. Junk. Next time, use a key. Item description, I believe, is just junk. Yeah, just some junk. Oh, well. Um... Yeah, there's not enough things to shoot to actually regenerate a full charge on my item, so I'm not going to be able to try and visit the shop. Just didn't have a key. There's no keys available that floor. That's a shame, but it kind of makes up for the previous floor. Black Powder Mine. This is where the wax wings are going to start being really useful. Totem pole guy in the center. Okay, let's wait a second. There we go. That's what we needed. I think I'm actually using the laser lotus for some of the real players here. I think that'll be a reasonable idea. Whoa, more people spawning. None of y'all can push me around. I have heavy boots. There goes that one. Oh, damn it. No. Not getting the better of me, buddy. Not just yet, at least. Oh, wow, we actually opened it. Perfect. Ooh, what are you? White Guanstone. Kindles blanks. I imagine over time it'll give me more blanks. White Guanstone. Increased blank regeneration. Grants an additional blank ivory floor. So every single floor that I go to, I'm going to have three blanks at the start instead of two. That's reasonable. You know, I'm not going to hoot and holler about it, but it's reasonable. I'm not going to be sad about it either. I think this might actually be my room-to-room -room weapon. Oh, we actually got a key. I'm pretty pleased about it. Slow everything down. Deal with these fools in my own time. Oh, whoa. Okay, so if you shoot his bubble, you burst his bubble and his bubble shoots it. And it shoots with amazing predictive ability. Right. Now this is something I know. Something I hopefully won't succumb to in the future. I just knocked them all into the abyss, basically. Rather than actually bothering fighting them. Yeah, I think I want health. Ugh, really? Glacia. I'm gonna take that. Refill your trays. Glacia, uh, projectiles shatter and freeze enemies. That's interesting. I imagine that's not going to work against the boss, so obviously I want to be using it in a room-to-room -room basis. Perfect. Final enemy over here. Beautiful. Uh, okay, we refill the laser lotus. Being the ammo. Sorry, the weapon that's lowest on ammo that is so useful right now. It's just the high shot speed on it that really makes it that good. This would be so much harder if I didn't have the ability to just hover out over there. Beautiful little bit of HP for myself there. Lovely. I think I would probably fight the boss as soon as I found it. And... Boom. No, not done with this one. Oh, God. Kill the totem immediately. 
Oh, it's so damaging. Anyone else want to come get some? Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough, mate. I didn't think so. What is this? Anvilin. Practical and safe. That motherfucker just shot an anvil. Alright. Cool. Cool, I can get down with that. Just shooting anvils casually. Let's see how powerful it is. Gun muncher. I'm definitely going to have some guns for you. Just with the amount of guns I have. Uh, I do want to fight the boss, but I can't afford to do so right now. I'm going to go over here. We are going to purchase a half heart. And if we can... Yes, a blank also. Alright, let's see if we can actually survive against this boss. What is it? I can't actually take down the map at the moment. Oh, it's the cannonball! Cannonball guy! Cannon Balrog! Guns in the deep! Obviously a Lord of the Rings reference. I think I go with Lady Lotus now. Oh, damn. Yeah, I just need to be firing fast. Damn it. Yeah, one more hit and I'm dead. Oh, out of ammo and the laser lotus. Come on. Sorry if I'm not commentating. I'm trying to focus to... Oh, we are so close though. Yes! Oh, yes! We're actually getting to the fourth floor in, what, the third episode? Don't mind if I do. Shot grub, no worries. Okay. Read the description. Shot grub. Uh, duh, duh, duh. An infant shot grub is essentially... Wield Sorry, he's typically wielded by an adult shot grub. A guardian of bullet hell. It fires bullets in an unnerving pattern should take care not to attach it to your brain stream. Okay, so for ammos that I... Sorry, ammos. For weapons that I run out of ammo for, I might as well just gun munch them because I'm not going to be able to get the ammo for all of those weapons again. I don't feel like, at least. This has way too wide of a spread to be useful, I feel. Yeah, you have to get really up close and personal to use this. I don't really appreciate that. I'm probably actually going to throw the shot grub, and I kind of want to throw the laser lotus. Nah, actually, I'll throw the t-shirt cannon. Now, usually you have to go through a whole puzzle to get here, and then you pick up the arcane gunpowder, which is, along with the prime primer, part of the bullet that we are going to need to kill our past. But obviously, we can't really do any of that at the moment. I've already ignored the prime primer. Two empty slots in the gun muncher. Need that. Looks like it could use another gun. Let's give you the shot rub. What are you gonna give back in return? Something good. Something good. That looks good. What is this? Dueling pistol, ricochet. Well, if I had... I guess if I had a faster reload time, this would be a lot better. So if I get anything that buffs my reload time, I'll look back at that again. Otherwise, I think I just continue with mahogany, to be honest. 
Sorry? The mahogany looked like it was empty. Why does the mahogany look like it's empty, but it's actually got a full clip? Someone want to explain this to me? Some sort of a graphical glitch? No, it looks fine now. Perfect. Okay, cop some of this. Some of that as well. And then cop one of those. And, um... Actually, just politely accept that one. Don't cop it. What is this? If I shoot it, does it explode? Yeah, it does. Okay. Okay, we need to kill this guy. I need to find my weapon, Mahogany. Oh, God! What is that big thing in the center of the room? Oh, God. And you, and you also. On, and... God damn, how many of you... Are these spent shells that are coming back to fight me? Well, that's unsettling. I'll tell you that much for free. Oh. Gosh, I don't like that there's that big thing over there. Although it looks like it can only run directly at me, so as long as I hover over gaps and things like this, it should be fine. And it melts as soon as the room is over. Oh, okay, so it's definitely not an enemy that I can kill. It just dies. It's a, it's a trap, basically. Whoa, key. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Die. Damn you. Whew. That was difficult. I am very surprised that I managed to get through that without taking a single hit to that guy. Oh god, that's immune. There you are. Back here, you bastard. Okay, so now there is actually no necromancer. We might have a chance of clearing this room. That said, though... Like there might be another necromancer about. Is it you? Are you a necromancer? Are you what's summoning these from the abyss? Is this a room clear? I don't know. I'm just so unfamiliar with so many of these enemies. Ah, uh, there you are. Yeah, you are totally summoning them. It's all your fault. Beautiful. A reasonable amount of money right there. We have no HP, by the way. Yep. Something just teleported directly on top of us and blew us to hell. But that is four floors on our uh, third? Yeah, that has to be our third because we're playing the pilot. Unless I played pilot two episodes in a row, in which case, whoops. My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Enter the Gungeon. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself. Uh, there is a playlist in the description down below with all of my content on this video game, past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you... Oh god, that was an instant reset. Next time!